Hi, this is Gil Ortega. Welcome back to the Lead Power Course. I'm going to cover article marketing. I want to go through this really quick. I'm going to I'm going to talk about some topics that I'll get into more detail later, but I'm going to give you the basis for this method. I want to talk about creating, spinning, and syndicating articles to directories. Okay, so I say create when I could mean write. So if you want to write your own, own articles, um, great, but if you're going to leverage your time and get really busy and, and uh, spend all your time doing that, you're going to have less time for marketing. And you're going to make money by you know, being a leveraged marketer. I mean leveraged, you're going to have somebody else do the writing. And at some point, you're going to even have somebody do the submissions, directory, um, uh, postings, and all these kinds of things for you um, where you're not even having to operate the software. You're just going to check in on it. So spin, what I mean by spin is you're going to create articles that um, allow for a tremendous increase of unique articles from one article that you write. An increase that allows for you to get more traffic because you're going to have more content, more link, links, more unique content out there on the web in a shorter period of time than if you were to do it the old standard way, which is write an article submit it out to the directories and do it by hand and, and keep doing it um, the old-fashioned way. So technology changes quick, folks, and you've got to stay with it if you want to leverage the Internet for its true power and uh, create a lifestyle and an income that you're, that you're you know, dreaming of, then you got to learn this stuff, and it's really not technical. Um, anything that is technical, I can't do, and I get somebody else to do. So I'm going to show you this stuff. Okay, so this is a directory. I highly recommend you go to easingarticles.com, and there's thousands of directories out there. There's some, you know, hundreds of really good ones. This is one of the best. Um, I recommend you submit your articles by hand. Um, in other words, you don't submit it through the the uh, the software that I'm going to recommend uh, that in one of our links here, so you can see that this article directory is an authority site based off of the amount of authors who are experts and who submit content here. You can see how many different topics are covered here. It's a free membership. Get on their email list so they can start sending you their tips. They're, it's a really valuable resource just to learn the way that they teach you how to do um, you know, article writing and marketing. So go there. When I speak of a directory, this is the top of, of uh, the food chain here. There's a few more that I'll show you um, in, in uh, other examples, but uh, check out easing articles. When I say create an article or write an article, you don't need to do it. You can have a company like Text Brokers do it, and this is their site, textbroker.com. Um, a dollar per word, per a dollar per 100 words. That's where they start. They get cheaper than that, um, quite a bit cheaper. There's a number of resources out there like this that I'll share with you. Um, you know, you Google the word. Um, you know. Um, write my, you know, copywriter or um, ghostwriter or writing service. Um, you're going to see a lot of services like this. Go into the forums, ask which ones are the best. You, you it's hard to find uh, your groove with your with the subject matter that you're writing for, and you know sometimes you got to test, but it's it's fairly um, it's cheap enough to where you can mess up and find some bad ones until you get a good one. And either way, you get content created, unique content. You review it, spruce it up if you need to, and um, you let it go through this process that I'm about to show you. So here we go. Okay, so when I say spin, you create and you're going to spin. We use software that allows for the randomization of paragraphs. So you create an article. What's an article constitute? Well, typically it's about 300 to 800 words. Um, you don't want to go over 800. You don't want to be under 300. I tend to be right in the middle. So a paragraph can be about three to four sentences. I've done two two sentence paragraphs um, and one sentence paragraphs, um, but you want to be somewhere for each paragraph around two to four sentences. Um, and if you're looking at um, you know writing a uh, you know an article that is you know somewhere in the range of three to eight hundred words, you break that up into eight paragraphs. Now our software requires that you have eight paragraphs, so let me show you why. You take these paragraphs and the software is going to prompt you to write that paragraph again. 
It's going to show you the the this the first paragraph. It's going to say, write this paragraph again in different words. So you break out your thesaurus and you're going to reword it. Now you can have the writer do this or you can do this, but what's going to ultimately happen is, you know, you breaking out your thesaurus and and double checking that it's kind of in the same vein. It's really easy to do because you're going to do it again. So you're going to have three paragraph ones. And yes, you're thinking it, and it's going to be the, the, the right answer if you say, do I need to write paragraph two again? Yes, you do. So it, you're going to carry this out all the way out to paragraph eight. It doesn't take very much time. And what happens is you have eight unique paragraphs that you rewrite two more times, and you have a total of 24 unique paragraphs. Now, imagine this. I rotate paragraph one down to paragraph six, and paragraph six up to paragraph one. Now, you gotta go into your writing and think that these paragraphs cannot be sequential to make meaning. So, you have to write your articles that, in a, in a, or your paragraphs in a fashion that each of these paragraphs can be moved around and still make sense, which is a little bit different from you know just sitting down and writing an article. You can do it. It's easy. So you know, go to Easy in Articles and look at paragraphs or uh, articles and reword those, and that'll that'll get you going. That's that's the practice. Um, find a subject, whatever your niche is, and I'm going to get into niche research and and things that you'll need to do before you even do this. Um, later on in other videos and like I said I'm gonna bring it all together understand this the power of this software taking these paragraphs and ro randomizing them rotating them to create unique articles what happens is you're gonna have thousands of articles come from one article thousands of unique articles it's amazing really and each of these articles are gonna have links to your sites yes your sites, your affiliate sites, your blogs, um, whatever sites you designate. And then we're going to get into the strategy on that as well um, later. So I want you to understand the power of this software. I want you to understand how you would need to create articles based off the eight paragraph format. And I want you to understand the power of this. When you create these articles and you spin them with your links back to your sites, you're going to have hundreds of directories with your articles and your blogs. You can submit directly to your blog sites as well. What happens is you're going to have backlinks that just mount in such a massive way with content specific to this niche. And if you pick your niche right, there, it's going to be um, a less competitive uh, keyword niche that you're going to be able to get traction on. In other words, people um, have not discovered this keyword to the point where it's really tough to get attraction within the search engine so you're going to do this with your articles I'm going to show you in later videos how to take this these articles create podcasts with them create videos with them and syndicate them in the same fashion it's pretty exciting I guarantee you this works it always works if done properly so I'll see you on the next video and thank you